Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. On the Bitcoin chart, the bigger picture scenario is unchanged. We're still tracking primarily a one to one to setup. It is entirely possible that price is already turning around here. However, there is currently no evidence for it. So I primarily watch for lower prices. There are two main wave counts in this one to one to setup. Um, it could be that this five wave move highlighted in yellow will already complete this correction. So basically one, two, one, A, B, and then the C wave in five waves. One, two, three, four, one more low, five, and then we go. That's why I'm watching for bottoming structures here all the time. So far I couldn't compare, uh, compare. So, so far I could not confirm one. So we are still waiting for lower prices. I think it is reasonable to expect lower prices. One more low here is certainly missing in this five wave move to the downside and it should take us to 24 to 22K. This is the region where I'm going to watch for the next lasting low to take place. Doesn't mean it will happen, but it means that is the area where we need to be watching. And uh, there is also the other wave count in which we don't track a one two one two setup but a large wave one and then however it would most likely be a w x y structure and here i'm tracking an a wave in the y wave a b wave in the y wave and a c wave and this c wave yeah consists again of five waves so one two three four five and when we get this wave two which might happen next week or well this week depending on your time zone um, and this would be an interesting short, okay? So someone asked me, you know, if I'm tracking bullish scenarios, why would I um, be why would I be interested in a short trade? Well, I'm purely tracking it because we have five waves up, obviously. So either five waves and five waves, or a larger five wave move. So of course, I'm leaning bullish, and uh, yeah, don't forget that Bitcoin doubled in price since November 2020. We've quite early started to track that bullish scenario, allowed us to capture all these trend reversal areas higher and good entries and uh, yeah, m nearly everything of that move, which is fantastic. So since this uh, top here, we have obviously been focusing on the downside, even though I'm watching the support areas for higher. Now, nevertheless, the price broke micro support here on the 17th of August in that liquidation event, which obviously had, has made me cautious. And nevertheless, uh, the bigger picture, the scenario hasn't really changed, okay? So the overall situation on the Bitcoin chart hasn't actually changed. We've been in the correction for a long time. And if that correction gets longer, and there is a decent likelihood for it, and if we get a corrective rally, then reward to risk will be very, very favor favorable for a short trade. So I always encourage people I say that so often, especially in the membership where we discuss other stuff and a lot of um, trading psychology and things like that. You know, in instead of trading what is likely, it is so worth it to trade reward and risk. Yeah? Trade where risk is low and reward is high. And if we get that potential third wave breakdown, obviously if you see it coming in a setup, then definitely worth taking a short, in my opinion. Now, that's entirely up to you if you take one or not, but I will consider it if the setup is there. And also be aware that obviously on different time frames, you can be you can be long on one time frame and short on another one. That's not a problem at all. But overall, still tracking bullish scenarios. Just be aware that the next area I'm watching for a low is 22 to 24K. If that breaks, then it's going to be the area around 18 to 20K two areas to watch. Below, however, I mean, a sustained break below 18.8K will most likely send us down to a new bear market lows. Um, but I say 18 to 20 because I think that we could get a quick move down below 18.8 .8 in a liquidation event. Yeah, so just prepare people for potentially a more aggressive move down if it, if it gets triggered, yeah? So, but, you know, I'm, I'm watching that green wave count, which means, okay, this ABC to the downside and a quite a deep retracement. 
I'm not saying it will definitely happen, but I'm watching it for risk management purposes. And if it doesn't happen and we already turn around earlier, even better. Okay. So looking at the microstructure here and uh, we're still tracking that move down. No change to the previous video. We have a wave one down, a wave two up, a wave. So that basically that's of the Tuesday high. Yeah? One, two, three. Bitcoin has now produced quite a healthy wave four. Could still stretch higher, could still stretch higher. Explained to you in the previous video, it would be quite likely to stretch to the 38.2 FIB level. It stretched a little bit higher since the last update. Um, just checking what this one to, yeah, but I think this would still be a WXY if it already topped or Again, still valid from the previous update. This could still turn into a larger corrective wave, which is highlighted here in white. And as long as 25,480 support is holding, this can happen. On the flip side, a break below 25,480,484 would confirm that we're heading down in the fifth wave finally. But be aware that tomorrow is public holiday in the US. So it could um, yeah, hang around in this resistance area for a while. Key was to understand that, yeah, the move up looks corrective. It can certainly stretch that out a little bit higher. And as long as price stays below 26,450, we should still get our fifth wave. A break above that level will make me consider a higher B wave. Also corrective rally, however, could be quite aggressive. That's basically everything that you need to know, I think, for next week. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the video description. And as channel member, you can get access to our weekly live streams, um, signals and short term market updates for gold members. You get access to our Discord server, Telegram channel and all sorts of other content about Elliott Wave trading and so on. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.